Well, I'm back again. This is Brother West. This is Prophet West. I got a message for you today that some, some probably won't like it. Probably ain't going to like it, but you need to hear it. And that is to get beyond the hurt. Get past the hurt. Get past it. Because you need to realize and understand that all of us are hurting from something. Done been hurt before or hurt now or going to be hurt. Done been rejected. Done been lied on. Done done everything to us. The negative. The collectively, many of us, many of us have. And so when you get hurt, it's a matter of are you going to deal with the hurt or are you going to allow the hurt to get in your heart because the unfortunate thing once the hurt gets to your heart you become bitter you become angry you become frustrated you become revengeful so learn how to get rid of the hurt don't let the hurt process don't let the hurt get in your heart because when the hurt gets in your heart, then you can't hear logic. You can't hear truth. All you want is satisfaction and revenge. The Bible says, he that soars to the flesh, sell of the flesh, reap corruption. When you allow the fleshly part of hurt to get inside of your heart, then it takes root. And once it takes root, it bears fruit. The Bible says, when lust is conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And when it's finished, it brings forth death. Also, there's a scripture that says, it's not what goes into the mouth that causes the body to be defiled, but what comes out the mouth. We are judged by the deeds that are done in our body. That's why the Jesus, the Bible tells us, Jesus lets us know to be taking how we hear. Because it's in how we hear that we're going to respond and we're going to process what we hear between our ears. And so, so, so for many of you, you're hurting whatever situation you're hurting in. In many of the cases, it's unfair that you're hurting. Many of you got dropped. It was by somebody else's actions that put you in a situation now where you're hurt, where you, you're dealing with some mess that somebody threw on you. And it's unfair. And you want to do something about it. You want to get back at it. You want to get back at them. You want to flip the stripper. You want to do something. How they did you. You want to get them back. But don't do that. Get rid of that hurt. See, because the Bible lets us know to follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. But but if you let a root of bitterness get in you, spring up in you, if you allow it to there, if you allow that, that bitterness to get up in you, it's going to spring up and many that are around you will be defiled. And then when you defile many other people from your individual situation, now what you're doing, you run the risk of God having to punish you collectively or openly, especially when you become a whisperer. A whisperer is someone who's behind the scenes talking about people. What that is, that is slander, that is backbiting. See, some of you are in a situation where someone who's a dignitary, someone who has high position, they have done something wrong to you, and you know it's wrong, and they know it's wrong, but you want to do something to pull them down, but that's not God. Bible says, God said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. And the Bible says, touch not mine anointing, do my prophet no harm. So if they've done something wrong to you, wipe your hands clean. Don't get them back. They're going to reap what they sow. What they've done, if it's wrong, God's going to get them. It's not your job to get them. It's not your job to expose them. But it's the, the word of God that exposes them. Not you. It's God. And so remove your hand because if you run, if you get in the way and you're trying to do it yourself, you're trying to get back at them, you're trying to punish them, God's going to get you. That fire is going to fall on you. When it's falling on them, it's going to get you. But if you want God to bless you separate because of your obedience and because of your faithfulness, close your mouth up and forgive them and get rid of the hurt. Get rid of the hurt. I know you want to say something. It's, it's like a stinger in you. It's like a stinger that needs to be, be brought out of you. It, you're swollen. God is removing that stinger, but he wants you to close your mouth. Keep it to yourself. Pray about it. Seek his face about it. Let him heal you. Let him handle the situation. 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Vengeance belongs to God. Let God handle it. I know you want to say something. I know you want to respond, but don't respond. Study to be quiet. Do your own business. Study to show yourself approved of God. Study that word. Learn of him and let him sanction you and let him say to you, good and well done, thy faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Let him be the one. Don't pat yourself on the back. Let God do the pattern. Let God do the work because he's the one that's doing the work anyway. Your gift, your gift come from God. It's borrowed and it's for the people. It's for God's people, for his glory. Not for you, but for his people because he said in his way, if he be lifted up, he'll do the drawing. So your job is to lift his name up through your life. Lift his name up through your testimony, through your relationship with him.